Hello, this is a tutorial on how to use the nav mesh editing weapon. You're going to go into the spawn menu, spawn a nav mesh editing sweat. Open up your console and type SV cheats 1. Close it up, pull out the weapon again, and you'll enter nav mesh editing mode. You notice I've already generated a nav mesh, but if you haven't done it already, on each map you're going to have to right click and select generate nav mesh. You'll think that the server's crashing because it'll take forever and I think you might lose connection but server is not crashing so just give it some time and it will work larger maps take much longer and you can take up to four hours just generating an av mesh if it's on a map like evocity anyway let's begin so we have some NPCs walking around minding their business but we don't want them to walk into the street willy-nilly because that's not what people do so what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark these areas as a void which is the bottom right button here. So I select that mode and now if I left click you see a little exclamation mark appears in this area. I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all the streets. Alright so not only will they no longer attempt to walk in this area, um, they will no longer spawn in this area either so you'll see this this person is now walking around the area that I marked as a void. I left this area as an area that they can walk through because it's not really part of the street and if I didn't leave this area open they might have a hard time getting from here to there in fact anyone any NPCs that spawn here would stay over here which is that's not something that you really want so it's good to have at least a few places for them to cross the street on a good example of when we want to split you're gonna select the split areas in the bottom left there and this white line here will tell you where you're gonna split if you rotate, you can see the line, the line goes perpendicular to your vision, so we want to split this area right here, so we just click. And now we have two areas, and then we're going to mark this one as no longer a void by clicking on it again with the avoid tool. This way they can walk through this area here, and you can see someone's already about to go do it, just like how they could walk over there. Now you'll notice that sometimes the NPCs will walk through the street, and this is only if they, they figure that either A there's no possible way to get from point A to point B without going through the street or B if it would take a, an age like a millennium for them to get from point A to point B otherwise you know, immediately just God. charge through the street because he doesn't care anymore for the avoid area so if we want to delete an area it's just as simple as clicking delete area and selecting an area uh, you can create an area by clicking once and then clicking again. Now I don't want people to be able to walk up this area here. Uh, it'll usually result them in getting stuck. So we're going to delete these areas here. It's usually a good place to look for. If you find your NPCs are just kind of getting stuck in specific places, like this is a good one here, they'll walk up and they'll just kind of get stuck on this, uh, this bench here and they'll think that they can walk over the fence. You know, just delete that one. You'll notice also that these areas have little blue connections between them. Uh, that's that's how NPCs know that they can go from point A to point B. Um, right here you can see that obviously you're not going to want to go from here to here. They're not going to be able to get up that area. If you have a list of areas that you clearly don't want them to be able to move into, but deleting is not the option, you can use the disconnect tool. Select the first area and you select the second area and the, disc the connections between the two are removed. That's the little blue lines. If you'd like to connect areas, again, select connect areas, click on the first area, the second area, and then back from the second area to the first area. If you only do one way, the connection will be dark blue. It means a one-way connection from A to B and the NPCs can only go in that direction. You can simplify your navigation computing by joining very small areas into one area. Select merge areas click on each area followed by a second area to join the two areas together in order to join areas the two areas must have a side with the same length so you can't join areas which don't share corners for instance you can't join this area with this area I suggest deleting all areas which are covered by a door or window as these areas can prove difficult for NPCs to cover I also recommend deleting any area which is on a rooftop as you don't usually want NPCs to spawn in these areas and when they get up there they can often get stuck. The splice tool is useful for creating 
an area between two areas and connecting them easily. Select the first area and then select the second area. An area between the two is created automatically and connected. You can quickly divide an area into four using the subdivide tool. Select subdivide area and click on an area to split it into four. These areas will be connected. So now that we've finished making our nav mesh and removed any issues that we may have had previously, disconnected areas that were outside and connected to inside, and marked streets as a void, we can reload and it will save our nav mesh. This will of course cause a lot of lag just like when you're generating a nav mesh, so just be patient and the process will finish itself.